This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hi there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you are here to get your Daily Dose. Let's talk about Jerry Sandusky today. His sentencing is finally coming up on October 9th. Stay with me. We are covering that live. Remember, he started his coaching career early with Penn State and last year in June, he was found guilty of 45 counts of child sexual abuse. A key figure in that trial was assistant coach McQuarrie, who as early as in 2001 has supposedly witnessed Sandusky in the shower with a 10-year-old. He also stated that he heard skin-on-skin sounds. And the important thing is here, is McQuarrie a whistleblower or is he just the man who walked away? Yes, he called the day after a paterno and reported about it. However, the fact is, how is it that you're in a shower room, you're entering and you're seeing maybe your boss in there with a 10 year old. You're hearing very strange noises that might indicate sexual contact or even child sexual abuse. You see the picture and you turn around and walk away. Yes, people sometimes are traumatized and they do things that are very atypical. But here you're dealing with a minor being violated by your boss. The natural reaction potentially is to walk up and get the kid out of harm's way. So I think that he actually did not take the opportunity to take care of a young child and also to prevent many, many more years of child sexual abuse. A colleague of mine said um, um, on a TV program that, well, that was a lawyer actually, she said, well, all he had was the bad fortune to walk into Sandusky uh, in the shower with a 10 year old boy. I would put that very differently. Actually, he had the opportunity in 2001 to end a long series or long years of child sexual abuse because he could have stepped up to the plate, could have made the boy safe, and maybe he would have also put his job on the line. Yes, that's true. But right now, look at the situation. McQuarrie, his contract has not been uh, prolonged by uh, Penn State. He has now filed a defamation lawsuit against the university and also claims that he wants approximately $4 million. That, what, that is the amount of money that he would have earned if he would have continued his career there. I understand all that, but you know, as I said before, there's also the other uh, side of the coin. He could have prevented many, many more victims from suffering actually abuse at the hands of Sandusky. Thanks so much for being with me today. Come back soon and have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.